Yolt is doing some awesome things for good old physics and performance. But can it really beat Unity? Today we are going to be comparing good old and Yolt versus Unity. Just for us to know which one is going to be better. So let's get started right away. Let's start off with a super quick project overview in both of them. In Good Old, we only have this main scene with a directional light, a world environment and a camera 3D. And on top of that, we have the environment that is basically this uh, kind of ground and, and platforms. Um, and we also have a super simple UI uh, that will contain the amount of time that has passed since we started playing and the FPS that is going to be the uh, frames per second counter, okay? And then we also have this ball scene that has a rigid body as you can see we, with the default options we haven't modified anything and uh, well we, with its corresponding uh, mesh instance 3d and also with its corresponding uh, collision shape 3d okay um, so that's all that this project has and well actually of course here we do have a, a yolt installed and we have set it in the as the physics engine in terms of code what we have is this script over here that um every 0 0.005 seconds is going to be spawning a new ball using this function over here and at the same time it's going to be updating both the fps label and the time label also this code tries to use the best code practices possible to have the highest performance such as uh, using a uh, static typing. In Unity, the setup is quite similar. We have the main camera, the directional light. Uh, we also have the canvas with the same FPS and time levels. We also have a similar kind of structure, a similar kind of platform. Um, and then we we'll also here have the uh, spawner script that I will check in just uh, a second i will move myself to the right so that we can see here the assets um i have here the uh vol uh, prefab okay and basically what it has is the the normal mesh render with the sphere um the sphere collider and the rigid body once again with the default settings um I also have this prefab over here that I'm not really going to be using, so it's not a big deal. And then, well, I got these two different uh, scripts. We have uh, the spawner script, and also in the canvas, we have this uh, other script. So let's open up both. As in Widow, I'm trying to use the best uh, code practices, but well, here the, in the UI script, we are updating the time and text and also the FPS text. And then in the spawner, once again at the same rate we are um spawning the different vaults now let's check out without and yolt performance so let's open this file up and let's see what results we end up having so as you can see indeed yolt is able to provide an amazing behavior an amazing performance uh and we are able to play for around 13 seconds on okay until we have less than uh, 30 fps and as you can see at no moment collisions are breaking and now let's check out unity performance so let's open up this file and let's see what result we end up having remember that in growth we were able to play for something like 13 seconds um so now let's see here what we end up having here. Once again, the behaviors are uh, super, super good. Oh, well, as you can see here, we are able to surpass those 13 seconds. Um, we are able to play, as you can see, for such, such a long time. Uh, but well, we start to see here some kinds of vibration for, for example, that kind of a uh, strange behavior, but well, uh, FPS are still super super constant and the behaviors themselves besides that kind of movement at the bottom is working amazingly collisions are not breaking there are no strange behaviors oh well now when we have something close to uh, one minute then is when we start to see maybe lower FPS um, so let's see if we can actually have less than uh, 30 FPS and how much time we actually take uh 
um, to have less than 60 FPS. But well, as you can see, we have surpassed 60 seconds, and it seems that super, super soon, uh, maybe collisions start to break. Um, and let's see, 36 FPS. So yes, yeah, 70, 80 seconds. And yes, in 80 seconds, we are having less than 30 FPS. But well, the Unity 3D performance, in terms of physics at least, is just much, much better than uh, Guirot, even with Yolt. And now well, we are seeing a comparison between Guirot and Yolt, and Unity being played at the exact same time, so that we can see uh, simultaneously how physics are reacting, their performance, etc. Remember that Guirot started to have less than 30 FPS, in somewhere close to the 13, 14, 12 seconds, but well, Unity was able to keep on running for uh, something close to 80 seconds, okay? And well, that means that actually Unity is able to have five times more the performance that Guirot and Yolt have. Um, and also, we have to consider the fact that we were using Yolt that actually makes the performance twice as better as Guirot Physics because Guirot Physics can only handle this test for something like 7-8 seconds, so even though YOLT is able to actually provide much much better behavior and performance than without physics, it is not close to Unity's performance. So anyway, I really hope that this test has been helpful a little bit, I still think and I still love the work that is behind YOLT because being able to uh, double the uh, performance of growth physics is quite daunting and at the same time therefore is super super good and an amazing job but well uh, of course unity still has um no no main competitor in terms of 3d um performance at least if we compare it with without with any other kind of plugin or add-on so if you enjoyed this video and you want to see other similar videos on Guidote and its physics, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. See you in the next one and bye bye.